roughly 20 to 30 percent of women uh, over the course of their life will have to have a surgery for a, a vaginal prolapse. That's either due to age, hysterectomy, uh, difficult childbirth, those types of issues. In those women, probably about 10 to 15 percent will have this major vaginal vault prolapse or complete prolapse of the vagina and that's always always due to after hysterectomy. So we're not we're not talking a huge number compared to say like prostate cancer those types of things but we're talking also a, a, not a small number by any means. What we're seeing now because we're doing this robot is we're seeing younger women come in because before they may postpone surgery because they're in the workforce uh, doing their normal life ac activities they would not want to have a major operation that would put them out of being able to do their lifestyle whatever that is so now we're able to provide a surgery where again it's overnight stay in the hospital and they're back to their lifestyle much more rapidly and they still have to be careful there's still is a recovery time associated with this but at least it's significantly less than it was before and also cosmetically instead of having a big incision this big they now have like four or five little tiny dots like this around so it's it's, it's that's a big advantage too the robot is a tool to guide the surgeon as far as inside the abdomen. It's got little hands that look like just like little hands. They can they have more mobility than the human wrist. So the major problem with the um, laparoscope, the pure laparoscope is stiff. It's like, like sewing with knitting needles. You can't tie very well. So subsequently if you have a procedure where you have to do a lot of knots, it's very it, it, it can be done, but it's much more difficult. So now with the robot, now you've got a procedure where, like little hands, it can tie knots very rapidly. So that's why with this procedure we're able to do it in about two, maybe three hours, which is nearly identical to doing it with the open traditional incision.